Hey guys, welcome to my review of the Master Grade Gundam F91. So yeah, this is my first perfect grade. It was my first perfect grade, the one I cut my teeth with. And this box is really awesome. I just love the detail, the artwork just looks so darn great. Now out of the box, of course, here you can see the Gundam F91 with his accessories as you can see there. And let me tell you, he is pretty darn awesome. Now, he already comes completely painted. What you have to do is obviously add the details, panel lining, get the decals. But it's all up to you, you know. Um, this is the thing about model kits. They're really personal. So do you decorate them and make them look as good as you want? You can even leave them just the way they come out of the box. Um, the back here, as you can see, I just love those little gold details they have. Well, it's kind of like a copper color, but let's check out the articulation. As you can see here, the articulation with this guy is pretty good for a model kit. As you can see there, the shoulder pads go all the way up. It doesn't hinder anything. The arms are very solid. And that's the thing about this model kit. It doesn't have poly caps, so... Just like the original, it's very darn solid. As you can see, the arm can only go that up that much because it's just huge. But this one here, yeah, you get the full articulation, you get the full 90, as you can see there, which is pretty awesome. Um, the legs, of course, very solid, and the knee bends, as you can see there, and Man, I, I just love the articulation of this guy. It just feels solid and everything. The toe here can go all the way up. Sadly, um, cannot go down, but it can go to the sides, even the back of the heel, which is pretty cool. And it's a very solid kit, kit like I said, very fucking solid. Now let's check out another articulation point here. As you can see here at the head, it can actually go full 360. Just on a ball joint, can go up that much, can go down this much, and man, it's just great. It feels really good. The solid at the in there, so no problems there. Now let's check out, of course, the VSBRs. Um, as you can see there, they also have articulation, so they, they just go up and down that little railing there, which and that's the main gimmick of this Gundam actually. Um, as you can see there, it also has articulation, extra articulation on the waist, which is great. And check it out, it has a lot of act crunch, which I love. And it's actually pretty separate from the actual body, which is great. And man, but there it goes. So of course, as soon as I praise it, and that was my bad. Actually didn't put that correctly after I posted. So let's check out some more stuff. So, let's check out the gimmicks, because this Gundam has quite a few gimmicks. Let's start with this gimmick here, as you can see there, the leg thrusters, unlike the original, these are actually curved. Yeah, they are actually curved and they look pretty nice. Um, just have to paint mines, obviously, but they go up and down. I wish all three of them went up and down at the same time, but no, you have to do it by yourself. Um, the other gimmick is here. This is where the beam launcher is gonna go. So it's a little bit weird, honestly, of actually using it. Um, it has a little peg there, and there is where the beam launcher, this big guy, goes. And there you can see it's only one way. So it's kind of hard to do. Um, sometimes it can be pretty weird, honestly. But once it's there, um, it's, it's actually pretty solid um, when you get it right, obviously. Um, I wish it was done better, but hey, um, it's still pretty darn nice. And as you can see, they're obviously having problems because it, it, it's just like, or you get it out too much or you get it out way too little and if I remember correctly I think I'm doing this wrong obviously I think you're supposed to push up on the under part so um, 
it stays out, but when it's there, it's there. The other gimmick, as you can see here, is that this guy has pockets, yes. And here you can see that one of these pockets actually contains something really useful. And give you a second because um, this mock is really solid when it comes to the pieces. Um, here it is. This is an extra shield. Yes, um, this gun has the shield there on the left arm. And basically, if you have seen the OVA, you know that he uses it <laughs> as a bomb. So that is pretty awesome that he actually has that and the original one if I remember correctly does have that too so it's nice so let's check out the other side which is a lot more interesting and a lot easier to use. I don't know why they didn't make the other one like this but as you can see here it has a little articulated arm and those are the bean savers. Yes the actual bean savers are kept in there which is Pretty nice and pretty unique to this Gundam. Not a lot of other modes who hold their bean savers like that. Now, of course, um, let's talk about the arm because this is a huge arm. Um, it's not, you know, the most articulated arm, but this here, the shield, actually has some articulation, and you basically push it up I know is a struggle because like I said this model kit is just so solid um, and it rotates 360 you can put the bean shield on it which we will do later and man it, it's great I love this shield now the other gimmick here that he has are the fins now these fins as you can see there are white but it's because I painted them you have to paint them um, the white color, I just used some Gundam markers for that and they actually turn out pretty good. They slid in and out. Um, sometimes they can be a little hard, especially this side for some reason gets me trouble all the time, but um, it's actually pretty solid. Now the VSPRs, um, as you can see there, they open up. You pull this down, which is basically one of the handles. When I say one, yeah, it's because it has another grip. It has two of them. So, it, it, I love the BSBRs. They are pretty solid. They look cool and everything. You can use them attached or without them. But, pretty awesome. And of course, the cockpit. The cockpit opens up here and you can kind of see that there's a little Seabook Arnon figure inside it sitting down. You can't really see him that well but that is completely normal with the other ones. Now this head is really special because this is not the normal head as you can see here. This one opens up. In the original one um, you open it up and flip the mask up and not in this one. This one you actually separate them and there you have the face, the actual face of the Gundam, which looks pretty awesome and obviously you have to panel line it and you just put the sides of the face back and you put it all together but sometimes you get this little problem here which you didn't push them back enough so they kind of you know get in the way but once you get it right it's there and it shouldn't give you any problems so I'm having a hard time here of course obviously when you turn that camera on everything that can go wrong will go wrong and this is what it looks like so I think you guys um, are gonna enjoy some poses so let's get to it
Hope you guys enjoyed the poses. They were not easy. It took me quite a few hours to get all of them right. Um, there's some that didn't make the cut. But as you can see here, um, this is what it looks like when you have it next to a master grade and a high grade. Uh, as you can see there, the reason for Mr. F91 being so small compared to the Alex is because um, F91 is actually 15 meters while the Alex is 18 so that's the cool thing about the master grades and some of the high grades they actually scaled them up pretty nicely as you can see there and that's what they look like together um, which is pretty awesome now let me talk about the light gimmick yes this Gundam has a gimmick that you can actually attach a light to it um, this is one of my string lights and basically you just pop it in you pop this backpack in there and there you go there you have it but um, there's actually another trick you're supposed to use Bandai's one but I don't have it so um, you can actually use any type of light source and you might be thinking how huh, you can use any type of light source yes as long as you have the opening on the back if you don't believe me well check it out yes that is just a flashlight flashing back there and you can see it does light it up now uh, obviously with the stream light that has the colors it actually um, illuminates the back as well which is pretty cool and man um, besides a few problems here and there that I have with the model kit is basically well I wish they the wrist for you know, um, for when you hold the VSBRs, I wish there was a better way to do it because for some reason, they the wrists just don't go far enough in. So when you try to hold it, you kinda, you know, cheat a little bit and make it look like the hands are actually holding the VSBRs, but they're not. Um, that is something that for some reason it does that I'm pretty sure it was a problem with the original um, but I really don't have many complaints about this model kit I mean I wish the feet had a little bit more articulation on them I wish they could go the toes could go down and maybe you know instead of making another one and selling the optional backpacks separately I wish they would have um, added them to this one but in terms of the build quality pretty darn good I mean it was my first master grade so it took me quite a few hours to actually make it but man like I said I cut my teeth with this guy I learned panel lining on it I learned how to sand the parts of how to cut them um, Honestly, this Gundam has a few scratches, some deep ones when I was learning stuff like that and some fuck ups that I made, but 
um, besides that I love this model kit I mean everything just works it's solid I know people that have the original release in the same pose since the day it came out and hasn't lost um, the articulation or has drooped the arms or anything this one is the same I had it for a long time in in poses um, in the same poses for months and months and months and you know never had a problem with it and I still don't I still don't have any problems the problems that I have are really minor um, there's stuff that really doesn't bother you and there's stuff that just happens when, because it's a model kit you know um, there's stuff that you can fix with a little bit of glue which um, I do suggest you get some Tamiya paint paint I mean thin <laughs> thin glue I think is what it's called um, so get some of that and use it and it should work perfectly I mean I, I, I love this Gundam Sally I not, didn't show you guys the inner frame because it has a full inner frame but the thing is about the inner frame is that um, you do have to take the pieces and these are pieces are pretty easy to get rid of you know and do that it's just a lot of work especially if you're planning on getting rid of all of the armor um, but man like I said a good solid build good solid build I did enjoy it a lot but I think I enjoyed the Alex one a little bit more because well you you build the armor and, and that stuff and that was pretty cool I remember um, like I said, this was my fir ma first Master Grade, so it was daunting, you know, and learning a few things along the way and getting some things wrong and all that, so that's what happens. I, I like that it has quite a, uh, quite a lot of the gimmicks and it, it does work very well, so if you're basically thinking, should I get this market, should I, I, I said get it, because it's... Gundam F91. I mean, this guy is pretty amazing. I mean, if you can get the F90 and the F90 Mark II, definitely go for them. Those Master Grades look freaking awesome. But man, the F91 is just, you know, what can I say? It's one of my favorite Gundams out there, and so glad I have it. Um, man, the things that I wish they had, I, I. I'm just it pisses me off the Bandai went premium Bandai with the backpacks I, I wish they would ha wouldn't have done that because it would have been a lot more fun honestly to have them but yeah that's my review of it and I hope you guys enjoyed it so next time yes next time we'll be taking a look at these guys yes the SH figure arts Kingdom Hearts figures and basically I have all of them I know what you're saying oh you don't have Sora I have Sora and the other Sora if you know the black one is basically you know it's basically the same figure as the final form yeah um, it just has one keyblade and it doesn't have all the, the final form details but it's basically the same it's a little bit darker on the hair color also but man um, this review is gonna take me a while because there's four figures and there's quite a lot to talk about so hope you guys enjoyed the video please like comment and subscribe for more and I'll see you guys next time